Johnny Nelson and Spencer Oliver. Obviously, it's fight week, two nights away. Uh, just let, I just want to talk about Joshua Usyk. Is this the biggest test for Anthony Joshua so far in his career? Uh, in my opinion, yeah. Uh, on paper, uh, you've got to look at that. Uh, in reality, it's like a live opponent coming in with a champion's mentality. He's dominated the field right now. Step to the heavyweight. Uh, the general public will not realise how much of a good win this would be for Joshua and Fuller coming off the win because uh, Usyk is a class act. And, um, and so uh, this, that way, Joshua would have ticked every box, every shape and size of fighter uh, and beaten him. And uh, then he'll maybe get the credit he deserves. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say, so, yeah, it's a big test for Joshua, and I think that. You know, your hardcore boxing fans will recognise that, but your general public don't really recognise how good Alexander Usyk is. You know, remember, you go back to 2013, he was a heavyweight, super heavyweight, as an amateur. He beat Joe Joyce at, at, at the um, York Hall, yeah. in Beckham Green. So, he knows how to handle those big guys, and, and like, you know, Joshua, I think, he respects that, and that's why he's going to come in, which I think he'll come in at a sort of career lightest. He might come in late 16s, or like 17, 17, 1, something like that, because he knows he's got to match Usyk for speed. You know, Joshua, I think, has got the power, the explosiveness, but if he comes in light, he'll have the athleticism as well, and he needs to do that against someone like Usyk because he could be uncomfortable in times of time to do, it? Do you think that's the right move, then? The lighter, the better for Joshua? 100%. He, he carries more power when he's lighter than he does when he's heavier. So uh, people automatically think, right, come in at 17-8, and he'll have a heavier punch. But actually, come in at 17 stone, like Deontay Wilder, who's only sort of 15 and a half, come in at 17 stone, and he'll have that explosiveness, speed and he'll speed power, speed create power. power. And that's, yeah, he's got to match Usyk, otherwise, you know, he's going to be... It's like a football team, look, we're at this great stadium, so I'm not supposed to play at the stadium, but if you're half a yard off the pace, you get beat, don't you? Yeah. And this is a similar sort of thing that Joshua knows that, you know, Usyk's main attribute, so his speed of foot and of hand, Joshua has to try and match that. And Johnny, you fought a cruise weight, obviously, uh, and then you fought a heavyweight as well. Talk to me about the transition going through the weights when you fight in that heavyweight. So most good cruise weights can be most heavyweights until you get to the top tier, and that's when you found one to because the, the, the top tier of good heavyweights are big, strong, aggressive, tall, you give away far too much. But, but, but usually, because we can get in there, be fast enough to sharp to get in and out to yeah. the gate. Because you have the power cruise away to, to stop a uh, heavyweight in his track. Not enough amount to stop in his track. But you also have the, the speed of a lighter fire, so you're missing shots. So every uh, one shot, you're throwing three. Uh, I can remember, I've just watched the uh, fight now, I was watching uh, Ivana Holliton's first fight against James Tillis. And everybody said it's too small, it's stepping up. And it's exactly what happened, the speed, the footwork in that movement, it, it did it. So for heavyweights, the idea is to draw your heavyweight out to make him work harder than we normally would. That's what Usyk's got to do. He's got to make uh, Joshua throw three punches to his usual every one. And obviously, we have, we've only saw Usyk fight Derek Chisora and his with a spoon. Yeah. Uh, what does Usyk need to do to win? Do you think it needs to go the distance for him to win? There's no chance of him getting a knockout. I don't think he needs to go the distance. I think he needs to take Joshua late into the later rounds and try it. And, it, and if, he, if he sets a hot pace early and makes Joshua work, makes him work and takes him into those later rounds, then he could, you know, he'll be looking for either a point victory or a late stoppage. Just look at this clown behind you. Sorry, mate. There's a, there's a clown behind you. I mean, there's always I'm one. There's always one. So, yeah, so I, I believe that, you know, that if Usyk wins a fight, he, 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 if he wins it, he'll win not only on points, he'll get a late stoppage as well. It's, it, it's all dependent on how the fight goes. You know, we got a great fight, by the way, when. You know, we've all got an opinion, but no one really knows. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? And, and like, Usyk's one of those fighters now. If you look at the greats, like, that have come up from cruiserweight, like Michael Mora was a great, like, light heavyweight cruiserweight who come up and won at heavyweight. Evander Holyfield. If you look at those type of guys, the greats, they do that. Like, Usyk falls into this category of, if he can beat Joshua, he'll fall into that. You know, one of those greats, and Johnny's right in what he says, a lot of cruiserweights beat a lot of good heavyweights, they don't beat the top tier. But some of them do, and Usyk could fall in that category. That's what we're going to find out on Saturday. And uh, can I get a prediction from you both? I'm going to uh, uh, Joshua on a tight points win. And I'm going Joshua to win it in side six. And, no, 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 the reason I said that, I said it's a fight of two halves. 
Joshua either wins the fight early, so look, you know we connected with Joshua anyway, and my heart might be speaking a little bit as well. I just think Usyk slot starts slow, he gets caught a lot. We saw that against Jozoro. He even saw it against Witherspoon to be fair, he gets caught with unnecessary shots. Joshua hits you early in a fight, you stay here. Do you know what I'm saying? And I'm hinging my bets on that. I think that Joshua might catch him, wobble him, and then he'll jump on him. He's a great finisher. If he gets if he gets to six, if we go into seven. No, no, the moment. Yeah, you guys. He's got a great chance of winning. winning. Yeah. Five, five, yeah. five, 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 one, two, three, four, five. Six, <laughs> I finally, yeah, uh, just get. Uh, yeah. Excuse me, mate. Excuse me. Can you um, give me a coffee as well, please? <laughs> <laughs> and finally, uh, could, could we talk about another heavyweight fight in two weeks' time? Fury and Wilder, do you think it's going to be the same outcome? I don't know, you know. I'm one of those, I'm one of those, you know what, I'm one of those people that still doubts it's going to go on. Have you, seen this latest, have you seen this latest thing with Fury now not having his double jabs and stuff? Really? You've seen all that going on? It's only just come out. Listen, I, I, I'm not going to you the head's feeling, but say if the, yeah, if the fight happens, it's a tough one to call. I think it's a, I think it's a closer fight than the last one. I think Fury boxed unbelievable last time. I think it's just... And I think this can go two way. I think uh, Wilder is either hit and he's been up with a just been hit once and he walks into a shot. That's why Fury is saying I'll finish him Earlier. Or uh, it stops in probably about eight, nine rounds, you know, again. So you think, you think definitely Fury wins? Again, without, yeah. without a doubt. Yeah. Well, there's not done anything to change no, it. All he's done is blame everybody else for why yeah. I So it's when you can look upon yourself and think, right, well, I've got to change this, that, and this. All he's changed is team around him. He's not changed anything, mindset, and what he's yeah. doing. So, so, as far as I know, yeah. uh, uh, he's never going to turn into a, uh, a technical genius no. uh, to a totally outbox uh, Fury uh, in that, that space of time. Yeah. That's not him. With many times we've seen him being in the hand on points and losing the yeah. fighters, then knocking him out. So, again, I think. Um, I think it's the same result. Yeah. And finally, uh, could you just talk about what you two are doing work-wise together? Box pro, baby. Box pro. Yes. Yeah, so Box pro, baby. We've got a fitness app out. I join it? you got a fitness app out. I'd like yeah. you to join it. Yes. Yeah, yeah, fitness yeah. Sort of app. Box pro fitness. Um, we teach people to box. You yeah. don't need to know how to box. We no teach home. you to jab, the cross, the hook, the uppercut, the footwork. So, I mean, listen. Even someone like you could become good. I don't believe that. <laughs> yeah, we can make it happen, man. No, so, oh, yeah, nice. And it's a bit of fun as well. We've got, we've got workouts on there as well with like, celebrity workouts like with Wayne Bridge. We've done one with Dan Osborne. Um, we, yeah, we've got other ones coming up with football, etc. You know what? It was actually his idea. When he mentioned it to me, I'm like, are you sure? Best thing we do. Downloads have been mad to trim them down, up, yeah, trim them yeah, up, yeah, yeah, like, feed down low. Like, I'm up the mountain with like, my shirt down to my belly button, yeah. baby. You don't understand. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but uh, yeah. free download, check it out, and then uh, get it all yeah. from there. So awesome. you can download that on your app store, Box Pro Fitness. Excellent. Thank you very much, guys. Cheers. Nice one. Nice one. Respect. All right. Thank you. All right.